Hello! In this video I'm going to be reviewing the Parasso Pre-Shave Balm. So I already went ahead and wet my face so I'm going to just go ahead and begin applying it. So I'm just scooping out a little bit here, rubbing it into the palm of my hand. Nice even application. And working it into the facial hair. So a couple of things to note right off the bat. It's a really bright feeling, really tingly on my face. I think it's probably the menthol working in this. Sorry, I had my hand in front of my mouth as I said that, the menthol. Um, this is actually pretty familiar smelling to the uh, the Parasso green label. So I'm actually going to use a, a shade cream that's actually pretty uh, close to that. In fact, I actually just reviewed it. I'm using the CO Bigelow uh, Eucalyptus Oil Pre -shave, or Shaving Cream. Now that's actually made by Parasso, which I talk about in another review. So I'm just gonna go ahead and load up about an almond size amount in the shave brush here, and then work it into my face. So my face is feeling almost really cold right now. Um, I mean, I was using warm water, but the menthol in the shave cream is quite an experience. Really, really invigorating, I can tell you that. Uh, let me actually add a little bit more water to the shave cream here. Probably even a little bit more water. I think I... Um, probably get a nicer lather there. Okay, I'm just adding just a little bit, not much. So I can tell you right away that this pre-shave cream offers a completely different shave experience than just using this by itself. Um, I had just reviewed this the other day and so it's pretty fresh in my mind on how this shave cream reacts, but my face feels really, really tingly right now. Um, not a bad thing, just <laughs> it's really, really pronounced. Um, so for the shave, I'm actually using a Macur 38C, uh, which I recently reviewed. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description. But I'm actually using a new razor blade today. I'm using a Shark razor blade uh, that's uh, made in Egypt. It's this type of label here. I don't know if you can see it too well, but there you go. And uh, so let's go ahead and keep shaving. And with the, the pre-shave cream, it seems to be gliding really nicely. I'm not feeling any sort of pulling or tugging on the, uh, the razor blade. The tingling feeling is definitely going away with every stroke. I can feel a little bit, but it's much more reduced as a result of removing the facial hair here. Now, just as a note, for this review is I actually have about two days worth of beard growth. I didn't shave yesterday. So just for you guys following along at home wondering how thick facial hair is. I'm really liking this pre-shave cream though. I think it's definitely going to be a staple for every shave going forward. Um, yeah. The bright feeling with it is really nice. Uh, I would be curious to see how it pairs with like a Taylor of Old Bond Street, something that doesn't really have that invigorating uh, feeling. That's kind of Parasso's signature is that, that menthol um, bright feeling.
you guys saw the uh, CO Bigelow video, I completely sliced up my neck, which wasn't the funnest thing in the world. But right there, I had irritated it before, but a little safer this time. I definitely learned my lesson. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a rinse, take a look at the results here. Um, and then I guess we could do a second pass so you guys can kind of get another idea of the shave, pre-shave balm. So a couple of things that I wanted to note as I was rinsing off there and kind of a you know first pass assessment, if you will, is that the um, my skin still felt really, really slick um, as a result of the balm. Uh, definitely, you know, whenever you rinse off a shave cream, there's some slickness to it, but not much. But this definitely, it was still pretty slick feeling long, you know, as I was rinsing. So just wanted to note that. Um, as far as irritation, no sort of irritation whatsoever. Um, I My skin feels really, really smooth. Uh, so that's that's really nice to see uh, from that. And I definitely think that this is solely to do with this pre-shave balm and not the actual razor or the shave cream. Um, I could probably do a little bit better on my pass. I know I kind of didn't do a good job right here and shave off that. Um, and it looks like I missed the spot over here. So I'm actually gonna just use this again because why not? You know, it's a review for this balm. Let me actually wet my face one more time and then coat my face with the balm. All right, so here we go. Just rubbing this into the palm again, working it together, and getting that familiar bright tingly feeling from it. There we go. So, still using the same loaded shape uh, brush as before. Now I do want to note one thing is that so far, and I might jinx myself saying it, but there was no nicks whatsoever on the first pass. Right, let me get you guys into focus. There you go. All right. Let's go ahead and start the second pass here. try to go too many strokes without rinsing off. Now I do want to say that uh, my skin has definitely gotten used to this uh, pre-shave cream. Uh, it's, I can still feel a little bit of tingling, but not really much. It's 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 starting to subside just a little bit. Still there, but reduced. All right. Adam's apple and not cut myself again. Hmm, I think I just did. Again. I really need to work on that technique right there. Alright. Alright. So that was the second pass. I did get myself just a little bit right there again. Common problem for me, no matter the shave cream or uh, if there's a pre-shave cream uh, there. So um, that's always an area of concern for me. Um, I also could have injured um, my last time that I had actually 
uh, in one of the previous videos that it actually nicked right there. It's not too bad, definitely not as bad as last time, but uh, still, I, there's a little redness. So let's go ahead and rinse off, kind of give a final assessment of this pre-shave cream. So, a couple of things I kind of wanted to note um, after just rinsing off right there is, again, you know, as carrying over from the first pass with this um, uh, pre-shave cream and the shave cream is that it's a uh, my skin feels silky smooth on the side. I didn't even go against the grain or across the grain, if you will. Um, I just went with the grain both times on both of the passes, yet it still feels super duper smooth on the sides here. Um, I can feel a little texture right there, um, but overall it was a really, really comfortable shave. Uh, definitely an upgrade. Like I said earlier, this is definitely something I'm going to be using every time now whenever I use a uh, or whenever I shave, it just provided a really, really nice slick base. Now, as you can see from the results here, still the problem area right there, but you know, everywhere else, everything turned out pretty good, I think. Um, and uh, you know, this, I, I don't know, I actually forgot to look up the price on this before uh, I did this video. Um, but I think it's roughly around 10 bucks or so uh, for the pre-shave cream. Uh, it seems like such a, a frivolous purchase because like, you know, a shave cream should be able to stand on its own. But I, I think it's it's definitely worth a recommendation for sure. I mean, it, it was a noticeably different shave using it um, and a much more comfortable shave too. Uh, so if you, if you want to, you know, give it a shot, I would definitely recommend it. I, I'm happy with the results. Um, and like I said, I'll definitely be using this, uh, in the future without a doubt. So with that, if you guys have any questions about this pre-shave cream, uh, please drop a line in the comment section below where I can answer your question. I'll be happy to, you know, provide any sort of help however I can. And of course too, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Definitely appreciate it. That way I know that you guys enjoyed it. And of course too, if you want to be notified when new videos come out, be sure to subscribe to the Tools of Men channel. Uh, last but not least, thanks so much for spending part of your day learning a little bit more about this Parasso pre-shave cream. I hope it answered any and all questions that you might have had, kind of expectations of how it would perform. Um, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.